Are you a pharmacy student looking for an exciting research topic? Or maybe you're a clinical pharmacist curious about the latest trends in pharmacotherapy. In this video, I'll walk you through some fascinating research topics in clinical pharmacy and pharmacotherapy, along with a brief methodology for each. Drug interactions in polypharmacy patients. Polypharmacy is common among elderly patients, those with chronic conditions like diabetes, heart disease, or mental health disorders. But taking multiple drugs increases the risk of unwanted interactions, which can lead to reduced drug effectiveness, toxicity, or severe side effects. To study this, we can collect prescription data from hospitals or pharmacies for patients taking five or more medications. Using drug interaction databases like Lexicomp or Micromedix, we can categorize interactions as mild, moderate, or severe. Then, we compare these interactions with patient outcomes, such as hospital visits, adverse reactions, or treatment failures. This helps us identify high-risk drug combinations and develop safer prescribing strategies. Drug interactions in polypharmacy patients are an excellent choice. It helps improve medication safety, reduces complications, and ensures better patient outcomes. Next topic, antibiotic resistance patterns in a local hospital. Antibiotic resistance is a silent pandemic that threatens the effectiveness of life-saving drugs. In hospitals, resistant infections can make routine treatments fail, leading to prolonged illnesses and even death. But how do researchers study antibiotic resistance patterns? We'll break it down. Method. Collect bacterial isolates from infected patients in a local hospital. Performing antibiotic susceptibility testing. Identifying resistance genes. Analyzing resistance trends. Researchers compare results across different wards and patient groups to identify high-risk areas. Data is reported to hospital infection control teams to adjust treatment guidelines. Next topic, assessment of adverse drug reactions in geriatric patients. Aging affects how the body absorbs, metabolizes, and eliminates drugs. On top of that, many elderly patients take multiple medications. This is called polypharmacy which increases the risk of drug interactions and side effects. Let's see how do researchers study adverse drug reactions in geriatric patients. Researchers study hospital records or nursing home data to identify elderly patients taking multiple medications. Identifying adverse drug reactions using clinical symptoms, lab tests, and patient reports. Adverse drug reactions are classified as mild, moderate, or severe based on their impact developing safer prescribing guidelines. Next topic, potential drug-drug interactions in ICU patients. ICU patients are often on complex medication regimens, including antibiotics, sedatives, anticoagulants, and cardiovascular drugs. When multiple drugs are given together, they can interact in ways that either reduce effectiveness or cause harmful effects. Method, let's see how do researchers study this in ICU patients. Researchers collect electronic medical records of ICU patients to analyze medication prescriptions. Patients receiving multiple high-risk medications are selected for study. Identifying drug-drug interactions, classified as minor, moderate, or severe. Researchers analyze adverse drug events, length of ICU stay, and mortality rates associated with drug-drug interactions. Statistical tools like multivariate regression models are used to identify patterns and risk factors. Developing prevention strategies. Next topic, evaluation of opioid prescribing practices and risk of dependency. Opioids are powerful painkillers, but they come with a serious risk, dependency, and addiction. With the opioid crisis affecting millions worldwide, how do researchers evaluate prescribing practices and identify risk factors for opioid dependency? Let's break it down. Researchers analyze hospital and pharmacy records to track opioid prescriptions. Data is categorized by dose, duration, and patient demographics. Red flags include long-term opioid use, high-dose prescriptions, and early refills. Surveys and patient interviews help evaluate dependency symptoms, developing safer prescribing strategies. Studying opioid prescribing practices and dependency risks is highly relevant. It contributes to public health and helps improve pain management strategies. Thank you for watching. Next, we will do this topic selection in another module. Don't forget to like, subscribe Drugs Decode channel.